What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update for Friday, March 15th. I'm Justin. I'm Greg. I was, I was looking. I, was, I, was, I wanted yeah. you to throw it to me. You, you want to throw it to me. You yeah. got to introduce me. Show something. Here, let me throw it to you. I'm Justin. I'm joined by my good friend. Greg Miller. Hey. Hey, Justin. How are you? Uh, we're here taking a look at a couple baby games today, Greg. Baby games? Gosh darn it. I'm taking it back. Yeah. I'm taking the term back. Yeah. I'm not going to let it be used. I watched, yeah, you. I saw your commentary about uh, the Battle Blocks last night with Anthony. You were talking about baby games. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah it's yeah. a really good game. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Greg, this is your first time on the App Store update. It is. Um, what this column does is it compiles all the game launches, price drops, and updates uh, for you know any given 24-hour period. Sure. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Today is not. <laughs> Today's not a good day. I, uh, I I brought with me bad games. And I bad have, price drops. I have price had, raises. There's. <laughs> These are the games that are more expensive now. <laughs> There's been worse, but you know this isn't like a AAA okay, App Store update. Okay. But anyway, let's not waste any more time. We do have a couple game debuts. Um, this is a game called Slam Jet Stadium. Uh, it's two ninety nine. It's iPad only. Okay. You got the developer's little face there. I like that. That's there. cute. It makes me feel Slam connected. Jet That's really loud. Um, okay. Stadium. It's a little bit like. Oh, I guess he didn't play this game. It's a little bit like a game called Dojo Danger, where. Okay. Um, it's from a top-down perspective. Do you remember PS1 games that had all these like terrible post-apocalyptic sports? Like this. Oh is, right, yeah, This yeah, is yeah. what sports are gonna be like in the future. Well, every, every game has that crap now. Final so, Fantasy's got their little weird underwater soccer. Yeah, that's you true. You got you got the whatever Griff Ball or whatever the hell they play in Gears of War. So what you're doing here is I'm the red team. Okay. And I'm uh, I just scored a goal. Nice. I like the art. It's yeah. all hand drawn. Yeah. So it? you're grabbing these guys and pinching them. To move them, so it's you like know. air hockey. Yeah, it's like air hockey where you want to move them. Like you grab and pinch, and what you're trying to do is you're just trying to knock that ball ball into their goal. Sure, sure. And that's it. Okay. Uh, I don't know that it's worth 2.99. I mean, the App Store is so cheap. Like 2.99 is I. That's, it, that's it, high. It, yeah, it is high. I'm just saying I feel weird saying something's not worth like two or three dollars, but it just strikes that's me. That's what like, you do. That's your job. That's, that's you got to do it's it. My job. Heavy is the crown. Uh, we also have the Crudes today. This is so. Here's what's interesting about the Crudes is this is from is Rovio. Movie? Is that movie? It's the movie, and Rovio made the game of the movie. And this is the first game that's like not an Angry Birds game that they've made in years and years and is years. It good? Um, not really. <laughs> is it the same? Is it the same thing that we see on consoles and PC, where you have to have this movie tie-in, so it seems rushed and it's not really doing anything? No, it's so just capturing the spirit of the crew. So here's what's weird about this, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because we have uh, Goldfarb and I did a video on this yesterday. Actually, okay. um, this is the first like game that they've made that's not a physics puzzler since Angry Birds. It's like Simpsons Tapped Out or oh, Farmville. Sure. So what you're doing is you have to like wait for things to happen. Like I'm constructing a little den for this animal, and in 20 minutes it'll be ready right, and you right, can right. move in. So this is a game you check in on a few times a day. It's free, okay. and then you can pay. You know, you get these gems that you can pay to like, speed things Cage's up. Is Nicolas Cage's voice in this? Emma Stone's voice. Is, is this, he, is this happening know, in continuity of the movie? You know way more about this movie <laughs> than I did. Are they in that movie? They are, yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you're looking for, like, a Simpsons tapped out style game or a game like that, I think this is weird. I, I don't think this game is weird. I think the game's fine. I think it's weird from Rovio. Sure. Like, they do one thing and they do it really well. It's like picking – oh, we're getting mail delivered oh, from, hey. from our boss. It's for um, you. So the thing about Rovio is they do one thing well, and but then they're not doing that thing for Right, here. so here, let's try some. Well, they got to branch out, but they, you branch out under a game no one expects to be good, then it doesn't matter when you're not good. The Croods is fine, and uh, like I was joking with Goldfarb that I made fun of it in the commentary yesterday. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'm not that into it. And then you went home and played. Yeah, but then I like, <laughs> I'm like, I gotta, I gotta feed oh, my. Oh man, uh, twenty minutes is up. I gotta feed my little mole guys, and they get they're, they're out of berries and they're gonna go hungry. Yeah, you can't do that. Um, you so start, you have a responsibility now when you have mole guys. It's true. You can get sucked into it just like any of those other games. Um, the Croods is a universal app, and it's a free, you know, a freemium download. Sure. We also have Mayday Emergency Landing as our last game debut. Um, this is what I love about the App Store, Greg, is that all three of these games came out today. So it's just such a crowded platform. That's why we do this that's daily video. That's why you video. love it, because there's it. so much on there. That's why I love it. I don't you can't have keep up with anything. You can't be in it. It's hard to be an expert. Look at you. You got all this gray hair. It's, it's driving <laughs> you crazy trying to keep up. It's true. I haven't gonna, talked to your wife in how many weeks? I'm going to be a crazy person within a couple weeks. Um, I like th this one. I like what's happening here. This is a super casual flight sim. Um, it says it's free, but it's not really a free download. It's really like a free game demo. Why? You're flying, Justin. So it's tilt controls. Justin, you're flying. I'm flying. Alright, I'm gonna get car sick. Oh, oh god, this is going terribly. You have to make it through all these rings or you I, start crashing? I don't think you have to. I think the rings are just guides for like showing you. Wah, 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 wah. There we go. I stabilized. I stabilized. All right. And I think the G forces, look at the passengers right. up in the top left corner. Yeah. Is that them getting car sick? Yeah, I think that's them not being happy with. So I'm deploying the flaps. You're doing pretty well so far. Deploying the landing gear. 
Down, down, down. Dive, dive, dive. Let's just crash. How does about it that? Get, yeah, I was gonna say, does it get all? Does it get really g horrific? I don't know. We're about to find out, huh? I the ground right gets horrifically pixelated. pixelated. <laughs> ground. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even seem that upset. They're just like, oh, yeah, well, oh. you tried your best. Um, the game totally seems fun. Uh, you know, the tilt controls make it super accessible and easy. Uh, it, they do give you a couple missions for free before you have to start like buying mission packs for a dollar or two. So you know that's one that people can check out for themselves. If you like it enough, maybe it's worth a dollar or two. Maybe, maybe it's maybe worth it's a worth dollar. It. You like flying, <laughs> staying above them pixelated skies? Wait, no. Gr pixelated grounds. grounds. You stay in the pixelated sky, I guess. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Three is on sale. Oh my gosh! I don't, Remember it's, Grand Theft Auto Three? It's back. Yeah, you played this. Form. You played this on the App Store, and you or you played it at an event. Um, yeah. Oh, why is it upside down? It was doing that with the last game. Rotate it, rotate it like you did before, and it, it, it figured itself. The out. last game was upside down? No, no. It was before you started playing, and then you flipped it on your screen, and it flipped up there. Okay. People will tell me in the comments that I should lock. Like, you can lock the orientation right, yeah. of your screen so that doesn't happen. But then the way that we're capturing these videos, um, sometimes that messes with that. Uh -huh. Like, we're doing video out, and if you lock the screen and it thinks it should be another direction, right. yada, yada, yada. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Just shut up. <laughs> All right, we know what we're doing. We're professionals most of the time. I screwed up <laughs> yesterday. I didn't know why Metropolis was destroyed. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm, I'm st it still hurts me because I'm a comic nerd, so I should have remembered that, but I forgot. Remember when this game was like the jam? Like, this was like games yes. will never look this better is, than this. I, can you believe? I could not. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is like that touchstone of, you know, for it's for so many people, so it seems cliche to talk about it. But I'll never forget. I was a big GTA fan of just the top down GTAs. Sure. And when. I saw the first screenshot in EGM of GTA 3, yeah. and I was Whoa. like, impossible! <laughs> and it's going to have the same open world, and I'm going to be able to go anywhere, and it's going to be in 3D like this? That's that's insane. There's no possible way. And you played it, and you lost your life. You were amazed. Yep. And then that was it. And then they made Vice City, and you're smacking people with uh, <laughs> sex toys. I don't, know, I don't know where you're going with that one. Didn't they have a was giant... Sex, I th you think you're se that's Saints Row? Am I thinking of Saints Row? Yeah. Well, they had, they had something silly. I'm sure they did. They I'm always have some I think preferred they, stuff. I thought, I thought in like the police station bathroom, you could find some like Jeez. dildo or something. Maybe, probably. Am I allowed to say that D word? Yeah, dildo. <laughs> I mean, it's the internet. We can literally say whatever we want. Nobody's going to stop us. Um, this game's normally 5 bucks. It's on sale for $1.99. Oh, that's and, a good deal. Uh, it's also universal. So that's game, you know, on an iPad. iPads are really powerful, so maybe huh? that's not too impressive. But like in your pocket, on your phone, that's pretty cool. Sure. Uh, what other price traps do we have today? Well, it's not going to be that impressive after GTA, but oh, this <laughs> Leps World, Leps Doodle World, Snake Download. This is a baby game. Now <laughs> this is a freaking baby game. When Colin says baby games, this is what he's referring to. It's just a Mario clone. Sure. You know, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in it. It's pretty polished. It's. Is it fun? Um, I I'd, I'd actually never played it before today. Oh. I mean, it's it looks like it's. I, here's the thing. Uh, here's the, my. You know, when people talk about touchscreen controls. A lot of times I'll play platformers on my phone or whatever, sure. and they're not as precise as I want them to be. Right. right, and I'm like, well, this sucks. This looks so far watching you do it. It looks like it's going. It looks like you're not having trouble. No, so I mean, sure if you haven't played it before, I've played a lot of very, very bad 2D platformers that right. just have you know bad jumping physics, bad you know unresponsive this, and this one's snappy. This one's fast paced. Oh, we got an advertisement there at the top of the screen. I'll tell so. you right now, ladies and gentlemen, what you do, you download. Uh, this is free, or how much was this? Left yeah, this one is normally uh, one, 99 cents in today. Right, it's free. Download Leps World Plus, and you immediately have an icebreaker at whatever St. Patrick's Day party you're at. <laughs> you get some green beers in whoever you're going after. You go Ooh. over there and you're like, hey, you want to see you want to see Left's World? And here's Look how you that. do it. You walk over to the pretty girl. You're like, hey, whatever. My name's Justin. Uh, you know. Because I'm that's what I'm trying to do. It's it's St. Patrick's Day. Have you ever played Mario Brothers? Oh. And she will say yes, of course. And if she hasn't, you don't want to talk to this woman to begin with. Uh -huh. And you're like, well, let me show you Left's World. Come to my house. <laughs> you, don't, you, know, you don't have to say that part. You show your phone. You show them the left world. You show them your iPad. And then they get to your house, and they say, this was on your phone the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> and then that's when you give her the ether rag. Well, I see. Now that you can't say on the internet. Oh. No, you can't. You can say that. You can say whatever you want here. Herpes. <laughs> see? All right. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. What's capsized all about? Um, this was a PC game. It's sort of a PC physics platformer deal. I like its art style a lot. Ooh. And uh, it was $2.99, uh, it's iPad only, and now it's free. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I, I was pretty impressed with this. I did a mission on the train this morning. Um, the touch controls are a little bit finicky. <laughs> finicky, yeah, exactly. But they're not terrible, and they actually they introduce some like aim assist and stuff for enemies. So, you know, you kind of jetpack around, uh, and you just sh shoot these alien guys. 
You, you have like a grapple beam that you need to use to solve some puzzles. Oh god, I'm getting all you're shut getting up. Owned. I am getting owned. So it's like you can grapple onto things. Let me grapple onto this and like you know drag it off gotcha, and then. Gotcha. So, I, you know, I don't. Whoa! I don't know that I would have paid a bunch of money for this because it's like this game is on PC and it's better with a mouse and keyboard. But when it's free, I mean, I like the art. I like sort of the physics puzzles that they have to solve. I think sort of the combat's fun. The jetpack's fun. Right. You know. Yeah. What uh, else can you ask for? Yeah. What else? What else do you people want? <laughs> They're giving you everything possible. I like capsized. Um, I, it's an indie game, and I like you know trying to support the indies. Although I don't know how you're supporting them if it's free. Just download um, Capsized. Yeah. <laughs> word of mouth? Are there microtransactions in it eventually? I think the term is word of mouth. Mouth? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm just saying. Word of mouth. What did I say? Mouth. Mouth. Like my mouth. No, like I put an F on the end of it. Mouth. Mouth. What does that mean? I'm just making a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. I couldn't tell if this was another, like, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't been following my life ever, if you're not hanging out with my group of friends, I guess you don't say roof. I roof. say I say roof wrong, so yeah. I get told all. I didn't know if this was a, a if we I'm saying mouth wrong too. We went onto the roof of the office, yeah. and that's when we discovered that Greg says roof. roof. Come on the roof, let's have a beer. Oh, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to show Modern Combat Four. This game does an interesting thing. So the way that we capture the screen is we have a video out. Sure. And some games, some newer games, recognize when you're doing video out. Oh really? And so, oh, like, look, oh. again, you can't see this at home, but I'm not seeing the game on my iPad. It recognizes that the video is being displayed somewhere else, and we can only see it on our, That's on cool. our monitor. It's like a Wii U. It's cool, but it also means that I it's, can't. It's hard right now for you, but it's good for people at home when they're playing. Yeah, we're not going to be able to play this. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, yeah, we're not going to be able to play this. <laughs> your, uh, your, your guys are just running into <laughs> battle, and you're looking down your sniper scope, taking baby steps towards them. <laughs> Justin, we need help, please! Um, the game itself is not buggy. It's doing that cause we're doing, <laughs> because we're doing a video out. Uh, that was Modern Combat 4. That's, you know, sort of Gameloft's flagship FPS Looked franchise. Good. I don't remember what score I gave it. I think I gave it like a 7-8 or an 8-1. You know, sure. it was a good game, and uh, that's 99 cents for the first time. So I'd buy that. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, last up today. Oh, well, there's Doodle Jump and Spice Spike, Doodle Spike Doodle Dislike too, but we're not going to show those. The last everybody's one. seen Doodle Jump. I've seen Doodle. I've Everyone Doodle Jump. has seen Doodle Jump. There you go. Oh, I miss that. Man, sound, I don't love you? that so much. Dude, you were a Sega kid growing up too. Sega kid, yeah. Did you have a Sega CD? N no, my friend did. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I can convince my parents to buy me this for Night Trap. I I convinced myself so hard that it was like I'm like, awesome. oh man, Sewer Shark. <laughs> this game's the future. So, Sonic CD, also known as the last good Sonic game. Oh, snap. Sonic CD is so great. The music is so good. The gameplay was so good. This po oh, <laughs> Gameplay is so tight. Did you just see <laughs> oh, that Your was Sonic skills, they don't go away with time, ladies and gentlemen. That was embarrassing. So, Sonic CD, people weren't happy with the quality of Sega's uh, ports on the App Store. You know, they were kind of yeah. slow-paced. They weren't that optimized. And so some guy was like, I can do it better. And some guy was porting Sonic CD himself. <laughs> and rather than Sega shut him down, they hired him to make the actual Sonic CD. That's awesome. So it's like, it's made by Just Some Dude. Like, how cool is that? Is that his company name? Just Some Dude. Just, <laughs> just Some awesome. Dude. Just Some Dude. So... You Did you ever play Sonic CD? Once or twice. It had the whole time travel deal. Yeah. So I'm, I'm time traveling. If you get up going for a fast enough rate of speed, you can travel into the past or future version of each stage. And now I'm in the future sort of post-apocalyptic yeah. version of this stage. Sonic CD, I believe. Oh, man. Some Sonic fans might be wrong. I think this was the... F no, Sonic 2 was the first one with the spin dash, right? Sure. Okay. I'm I thought, not a Sonic historian. I thought you were a Sonic guy. I was a Sonic kid, but I don't... I mean, I didn't remember... Um, oh man, I just want to sit here and play Sonic CD all day, Greg. Sonic got to zone uh, one. This is normally five bucks, and today it's also on sale for ninety-nine cents. There you go. Eighty percent off is the wow. math on that one. That's impressive. You did that in your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no pen or paper here, ladies and gentlemen. No calculator app opened. He um, did that in his head. <laughs> no, <laughs> no everybody, cheap. everybody, we got an Isaac Newton over here. <laughs> there was secretly like a big cut in this video where we like did the math. We took like three you have, minutes. Like, you have beakers out. You're in a lab coat <laughs> examining all these things. Giant magnifying glass. Um, again, there is Doodle Jump and Spike Dislike. You can see their names there. We're not going to show them. Those are both free today. Yeah. So um, I say jump on those. They're both pretty good if you haven't played them. That's it, Greg. Uh, that was fun, Justin. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining me, no, saving me at the what? couple the couple times that I was just flailing about? out there. So, this has been your App Store update for Friday, March fifteenth. Um, you know, to recap, GTA three totally worth a couple bucks. Modern mm -hmm. Combat worth a dollar. 
Um, I'm not radically impressed with any of the game debuts, but you saw the video. If yeah. any of them catch your eye, check them out. Do it. Thanks, Greg. No, thank you, Justin. Thank you, everybody at home. And uh, we'll be back on Monday.